And then there was that girl who did the, remember there was some comedian, the ginger girl who said something about um, Trump's daughter called her like a slut or something like that. I don't remember. I actually don't remember that. Travis Kelsey, who is Mr. Pfizer now, football player, um, Ugh, pretending to date Taylor Swift. That ended fast, Eric. I mean, I was watching football, the highlights and stuff the last couple of days. No mention of that quickly went and gone. So their week long PR stunt. Yeah, two finished, weeks, I guess. Two weeks, maybe. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, because she showed up at the game and then they're like, oh, my God, she's going to come to the next game. She's friends with his friends now. Oh, uh, that Rogers was calls it- so painful to watch. Like, <laughs> as you like, I'm not even like a big football guy. Like, I'll I'll turn it on, right, and like kind of keep it as background noise, and you know, just as as you know, just like I watch news. Like, you know, you, I don't I don't get super deep into it. I'm not on the fantasy league or anything like that. But just every split, like every other second, was something about Taylor Swift, and then I scroll through my Instagram feed, and it's Taylor Swift. It's just like. Oh, this has like they had the um what I like to call the Fetty Wap trajectory on that. Like they are just pounding. They are just beating you over the head with Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. That It had there was it was quite obvious. It had nowhere to nothing to do but fizzle out like they just were not going to be able to keep up that level of, oh, Taylor Swift doesn't like the chicken tenders or Taylor Swift's friend doesn't like chicken tenders at the booth or Taylor Swift's friend is wearing uh, New Balances today or Taylor Swift's sister <laughs> doesn't like like, it's like what the f- give it a rest, guys like this is absolutely despicable. You beat. You people are disgusting. You, you're all just every everybody is stupid except for me. That's the line I'm going. With. <laughs> That's a shirt. Um, then they drive away in the convertible with the top down. Yeah, which you. Really, <laughs> I want pri- the South Park. We want privacy. We want privacy. Exactly. Yeah. So Aaron Rodgers challenges him to a debate, which I don't think is going to happen. He well, says RFK not. can be on his side, Fout, newly independent RFK in his workout attire, of course, your TMZ used. He's so sexy. He's in shape. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not. Hold on. I mean, I need to channel it for. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a Democrat anymore. Um, I'm independent. When people find out. It's pretty after good. This election, it's a pretty good RFK. Thank you. I've listened to him talk in person. He was on a screen, but it was live and in person. Um, and I listened to him for two hours. It was difficult. <laughs> obviously, we don't want him to be. Neck. Obviously, we hope that nothing bad happens to him, but he's shirtless all the time. It's annoying. And after the election, people are going to find out that his policies were actually not good just because he. But the vaccine thing is such a hardcore topic still that you know who knows if is he going to pull votes away from trump or biden at this point let's read a little bit aaron Rodgers wants to settle his back and forth with mr pfizer once and for all proposing a star-studded covid19 debate with travis kelsey he wants kennedy jr and fauci to get involved ar8 which i guess is a name that i've never heard from aaron Rodgers, and the chief superstar have been sending playful jab <laughs> toward each other ever since he called him mr pfizer on the pat mcafee show Mr. Pfizer said he didn't think he'd be in a vax war with me. This isn't just a war. It's a conversation. I don't know if you saw. Now, this was Travis Kelsey. This is going to be him, I believe, talking about how he just wanted. Like, he's literally, Eric, you said it's worse now, but he's still using the 2020 talking points. This seems like a little bit ridiculous to ask, but what do you think of Aaron Rodgers calling you that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. I mean, with the stash right now, I look like a guy named Mr. Pfizer. Um, who knew Who knew I'd get into the Vax Wars with Aaron Rodgers, man? It's <laughs> Mr. Pfizer versus uh, the Johnson & Johnson family over there, man. I don't, I don't think we asked you about it since you're in the commercial. Can you kind of just say why, why you wanted to? I mean, I've always been, you know, once I got the vaccine, I, and I, did, I got it because of, uh, you know, Keeping myself safe, keeping oh, my yeah, family keeping safe, the community the safe, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. community safe, and let's forget about all the stuff we we found out about the vaccine, and, and uh, everything's perfectly fine. We're on YouTube, and uh, oh, the Johnson and Johnson company, uh, you know, even though he Aaron Rodgers didn't take any of it because he was allergic to it, and uh, you know, and uh, I'm just a I'm just an athlete. I have no opinions, and um, 
I'm not going to get into this battle with somebody because I'm just keeping people safe, Eric. Uh, it's it's funny. This is all funny stuff. I can just push a pharmaceutical that has had terrible results and didn't do. It did exactly what it was supposed to do and what, everything they said. And the president didn't lie. Just like we heard in that Let's Go Brandon song. <laughs> Completely despicable. <clears throat> and the reason he won't have a debate, obviously, would be because he doesn't care. He doesn't know anything about this stuff. He just gave you the Pfizer tagline. He's not about to go in and say anything other than I'm an idiot. Where Rob Gronkowski is a lovable goon, and I don't mean that in a demeaning way. I just mean he's a big football guy who doesn't really care about a lot of stuff. Except he said no men and women sports. Travis Kelsey is just, you know, I'd expect the same th- level of incoherence from a hockey player because they're so bad for that just being whatever how could anybody disagree with this i'm saying the right thing that i've been told it's embarrassing dude just stop you shouldn't have injected yourself how could vaccines be political that's that's the next thing he's gonna say i didn't think it was political who knew it's like like dylan mulvaney like dylan hiring trans people shouldn't be political bruh well my girlfriend's reading this paris hilton book right and they just have things in there she sends me a picture of it Things in there where it's just like something, something, something. Somebody discovered this just like Christopher Columbus discovered America and like saying like he really didn't. And it's like, what? why would you put this in a book when obviously female Paris Hilton fans are not going to be like you don't like her for her politics and it's like the only reason they say this stuff just like travis kelsey is because they're doing it on purpose to inject propaganda or they've been propagated so much themselves that they think this is completely normal and uncontroversial how the whole how could anybody disagree with this how could anybody not like you argument sort of thing yeah and we just saw from the Alana's post and whoever that weirdo lady she was supposedly texting they literally said we're going to inject more so do we think for one split second they're going to inject more about climate change propaganda into tv and and movies and entertainment and they're not going to do it for anything else this is quite obviously what's happening and i my point was that i think it's less offensive now because the word is out everybody knows this is just a money play before you were playing with people when you were you were playing with the quote unquote science and you didn't know it was real, you didn't know if it worked. So he wasn't doing it back then. Now he's doing it after we all know mm. that it's just a money play. So I think this is, is a little lying. bit. But but also it's like, dude, we what how come we never got we never once got hey, if you're scared of this virus or if you're quote unquote immunocompromised. You should look into this vaccine. It's free. It could help you. Ask your doctor. It's there if you want it. It went straight from, it went straight from, we'll give you a beer. We'll give you a donut. We'll we'll give you, we'll, we'll, you you might be able to get a college scholarship. We'll give you French fries. We'll give you a cheeseburger. We'll give you all that stuff. And then, then they went to, oh yeah, if you don't do it, you can't go to work. You can't go to school. You can't travel. And now we're still pushing it with more and more celebrities. And of course, now we've, We've t- tacked on the flu shot, which we were told that the flu was literally nothing like Rona. They were completely different. Up. And now he's got two Band-Aids on his arm. But my question is, why did we never? And maybe I missed it. L- let me know. Point it out to me. Find it. Sift the entire Internet. Ask chat GPT or whatever you have to do to let me know when somebody said, hey, this is out there. If you want it, we think it could work. It went straight from they were. Remember? Remember when they were? Walking on eggshells like, oh, if you're 60 and over, you can get it. Oh, if you're 50 and over, you can get it. Oh, if you're 30 and five and over, you can get it. Pretending that everybody wanted to do it. Nobody wanted to do it. Then they gave you a cheeseburger. They gave you the they gave you the incentives. Still nobody wanted to do it. Then they said you couldn't go to work. You couldn't go to school. Still nobody wanted to do it. Then they kicked people out of Applebee's in New York City because they didn't have their little their little vaccine card. The machine rolled on. And now finally they're like. Okay, no more cards. Let's just uh, force a football player who is arguably in the best health of his life as he ever will be. What is he? Thirty years old. He's a yeah, like prof- tight max, end. Yeah, 34. he's a he's tight. He's in. He's healthier than ninety nine percent of the population outside of other athletes, and he is getting a Rona and flu shot. Like, give me a <laughs> dude. We're not. We're not this stupid. Well, like 
there was nobody even said after, hey, we were wrong about this. The president out and out lied. I just wanted to see what he said exactly again. The president lied. Pfizer lied. You know, Johnson and Johnson didn't lie. They, their thing got pulled off the shelves. <laughs> to be fair, uh, who's the other companies that did it? They all lied about transmissibility. And now he's going back and saying the same things they said. Who knew? Who knew? I'd get into the vax wars with Aaron Rodgers, man. It's <laughs> Mr. Pfizer versus uh, the Johnson and Johnson family over there, man. I don't. I don't think we asked you about since you're in the commercial. Can you kind of just say why? Why you wanted to? Do that? I mean, I've always been, you know. Once I got the vaccine, I, and I, did, I got it because of, uh, you know, keeping myself safe, keeping my family safe, uh, the people in this building. Um, so, yeah, I stand by it 1,000%. You stand by the th doing the thing for the reasons they told you that turned out not to be true and were admitted to be true. Even BP Oil said, we're sorry. Nothing like right. this from them. Just says the same thing. You know, uh, you could still, like Fauci said in the late 80s, you could get a you might be able to get AIDS from sitting next to a person for a long time. And then so, and then imagine saying that now. Um, also, without being, you know, I don't even look, I don't even have to get on the conspiracy train of whatever population control and and injuries and all of this stuff just to say. I don't need it. Like, I just, I don't need it. I don't, I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to, it's going to kill you or it's going to, you know, kill your kids or whatever. It's like, I, I don't need it. I'm not sick. If you think it works, then you get it and you're safe. Like, it doesn't even have to go any further than that. It's just very strange. Like, it, it just had, it, it just had the, like, you know, free candy painted on the side of a white van type of thing. It's like, dude, I don't need it. I don't want it. Like, what the hell are you guys doing? Like, give it a rest. I don't want it. Move on. Turn it up, Jordan.